Missing Titanic sub update. Five deleted in catastrophic implosion, Coast Guard says. Officials have determined the Titan submers submersite experienced a catastrophic implosion when it submerged to the view to view the Titanic wreckage. Unaliving all five passengers on Thursday, June 22nd, the U.S. Coast Guard announced that they found several parts of the Titan in a debris field, approximately 1,600 feet from the bow of the Titanic at the bottom of the sea floor. Ocean Gate Expedition's founder and CEO, Stockton Rush, British billionaire, Hamish Harding, renowned French driver, Paul Henry, Nargalet, Pakistani businessman, Shazada, DeWood and his 19-year-old son, Sulman, were all aboard the Titan. In a statement, Ocean Gate Inc. said, Our hearts are with those five souls and every member of their families during this tragic time. We grieve the loss of life and joy they brought to everyone they knew. These men were truly explorers who shared a distinct spirit of adventure and a deep passion for exploring and protecting the world's oceans. It's unclear when or where the Titan imploded, though the Coast Guard said sonar boys would likely would have likely picked up the sound if they had been in place. The Titan submerged on Sunday morning, but lost contact with the surface ship about an hour and 45 minutes into its submerge. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's not all that we have. We actually have... Cardi B, who was called out by the late billionaire son, and rest in peace to all of those that were aboard and were affected by this tragedy. And so um, the celebrity Cardi B, um, which is, like I said, guys, she's a celebrity. Um, she's known for suing the blogger Tasha K. OK, she officially um, sued her and now she is waiting for her four million dollars. However, if Cardi B allegedly doesn't get her act together, I've got a feeling that the billionaire son may be taking legal action towards the music artists. And without further ado, let's go ahead and bring up. So you take a complete bitch like Cardi B, has no idea what's going on. Her career is so in such turmoil, she needs clout off other people's suffering. And she's like, eh, he won't go help. He goes to a rock concert, this and that. Tries to use the situation to exploit, like the news. They're not like feeling sorry that my mom has to take care of two kids. Not really giving a fuck that my stepdad's probably 99% chance he's dead. That doesn't matter. It doesn't care how we feel. Just trying to like fucking make gains. People like um, trolling, getting hate mail, all these things. And it's just fucked up. And to have Cardi B behind it, Cardi B, like fucking grow up, get some class. Like you're tasteless. So you take a complete bitch like Cardi B. All right. So. With that being said, the son is very frustrated and you have to understand people grieve differently. And in my opinion, Cardi B should have, you know, left her two cents out of the equation and really just sent her, her condolences 
and you know just left it at that and if she didn't really have anything nice to say then maybe she shouldn't have said anything at all but here's a news clip of the ocean gate confirms all lives have sadly been lost this morning an rov or remote operated vehicle from the vessel horizon arctic discovered the tail cone of the titan submersible approximately 1600 feet from the bow of the Titanic on the seafloor. The ROV subsequently found additional debris. In consultation with experts from within the Unified Command, the debris is consistent with the catastrophic loss of the pressure chamber. Upon this determination, we immediately notified the families. On behalf of the United States Coast Guard and the entire Unified Command, I offer my deepest condolences to the families.